Welcome back everybody and a very happy new year to you all. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am going to be filming a little tour of one of my local garden centres because there's a few things that I need to pick up and there's a few things I want to do with my office this year. One of them being um, I want to put some new brackets up on this wall behind me so I can hang some more plants up there and also I want to paint this wall over here which I'm not going to show you yet because it's a complete mess at the moment. I want to take down the pictures that are on the wall, move a few things around and put a load of shelves up and grow lights for some plants. I'm really excited for this year, I've got some awesome plans for the house and for the garden. I always love a good project, it's something to look forward to and keeps me busy and every year I always find something new to do to the house or the garden so I'll keep you posted with that. So to start with I'm going to take you along to one of my local garden centres Haskins which is where I get my plant pot hangers from and I'll just see what they've got, see if there's anything good there. Also while I'm out there's a few other bits I need to pick up and then I'll catch up with you guys when I get back.
hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the garden centre. I will show you now what I picked up. First of all, I got four of these hangers, which were £4.99p each, which is pretty good, I think. I actually have quite a few of these hanging around the house, and I love to have matching stuff. I'm a bit funny about that, so yes, I've got a few of these dotted around. I also picked up this hanging pot from B&Q. It's a seagrass hanging pot, and I think it was £8, so it's not too bad. This one, I'm hoping to put my Monstera Adansonii in. It's got quite a big pot, so I needed to get something that was quite a good size and it's lined inside, so it's waterproof, which is cool. So yes, this is going to be going up on the wall in a bit. I also picked up that bright pink Fetonia. I just could not resist it. I've got loads of Fetonia, but I just thought that's gonna look awesome in the bio bear. So I've already planted that up in the terrarium now. So I'll insert a little clip of it inside the bio bear. Something else that arrived today from Amazon, which I am super excited to show you, is this awesome leopard head wall vase. So I think it's meant to be a vase to put flowers in, so you can fill it with water and put flowers in it, but I thought I could either use it for cuttings or put an orchid or an air plant or something in it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this guy in my office or in the living room yet. And these come in loads of different designs as well. There was a bear, a wolf, an owl. There was loads, they're so beautiful. And the funny thing is, I showed you guys something very similar recently on my gift guide video. And it was a little planter, a leopard planter that I'd ordered from eBay, but it came from Thailand. It was advertised as a planter, as a small planter. Let me grab it. It is adorable and I absolutely love it, but it did cost me quite a bit because I had to pay import tax. And then I only realized today that these are actually made by the same company and I could have bought this in the UK for a lot cheaper. It's actually an egg cup holder. So yeah, I was quite annoyed, but it's actually quite funny. I love it anyway, it's beautiful. The company is called Quail, Quail Ceramics. Yep, they're everywhere online and all over Amazon. So I've actually gone through Amazon and added all my favorite egg cup holders or wall vases into my Amazon shop, which I'll link below for you. So yes, I would say this little guy is only really suitable for some cuttings or a cactus or something like that. But yeah, it is an egg cup holder. I'm actually thrilled though because I love this and as soon as I saw this online I did think wow that looks really similar but when it actually arrived I realised yes it is the same company. I'm actually thrilled that I found these wall vases, I love it so much and I really want to collect some more. Also I think I'm going to collect a few more of these little guys as well. The quality is amazing. Anyway once this is up on the wall I'll take some footage to show you. So the other thing that arrived today are these six inch brackets for hanging baskets. I found it really difficult to find small um, brackets that I liked anyway. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't recommend these just because the quality of them isn't very good. So I'm not gonna be adding these into my Amazon shop, but I'm hoping that once they're up on the wall, from a distance they'll look okay. They just look like poor quality to me. I did leave them a one star review. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take some footage of me actually putting these up on the wall and hanging up my lovely plants. So I hope you enjoy the video.
here they are all hung up. I ended up switching a few round because it didn't look quite right, but I'm quite pleased with how it looks. I'll probably end up painting the screws white just so they blend in a bit better. I did actually have hooks in the wall before supporting a couple of hanging plant pots, but to be honest, I didn't trust them at all and I feel much safer having brackets on the wall. What do you guys think? Thanks so much for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the video and that you're having a fantastic new year so far. I'll keep you posted with my little DIY projects and yes, I'll see you soon in my next video. Take care everyone, bye!